Hello, in this video we will make a character for our game. Let's make a character blueprint with the name bp underscore run character. Now we need to set a mesh and anim class for our character. Default character and animation blueprint from third person project is good enough for us at this moment. Now let's set appropriate location and rotation for this character. The next thing we need is a spring arm set as a child of capsule component. And the camera as a child of our spring arm. Now we need to open our run game mode and set the new character as a default pawn class. Let's compile and save it. It's time to make a first playtest for our game. Our character is here and it's falling down. That's not what we need in our game. Let's add a cube to make a flow. And we are falling again. To fix this, we need to add a player start actor to our scene. This actor tells the game where to spawn our character. Let's run it one more time. And we are standing on the floor. Great success! Now let's change a camera angle to make it look down a little. It's better now, but it's too close. Let's increase target arm length. Looks good enough. Now we need to make this character run. And to do it, we need to open an event graph section of our character. We can add some movement to our character by using add movement input node. But first we need to set port direction property for this node. Let's take a get control rotation of our pawn. Now we need to break output rotator and make a new rotator node. And let's connect the values here to zero out other directions, because we need only your rotation. Now we can get a forward vector for our direction. Let's compile and play. And we can run. And the last thing here, we need to make our character jump. Let's take a note for a spacebar button. And we need to add a jump node and connect it to a pressed event of a spacebar button. Let's compile and play. Now we can press a spacebar to jump. Let's make this flow a little longer. Great! And one more thing, we can change mobility property for our directional light to movable to remove that annoying red text in the corner of the screen. That's all for now. In the next video we will create floor tiles for our game. I hope you like this video and it will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching.